Hello, I'm Edward Tart, chess enthusiast. This is my chess teacher, Chen Ming. Chen gave me a homework assignment, which I would like to offer you now as my chess challenge number 264. After I present the challenge to you, you may, if you wish, pause the video, think it over, and then when you are ready, resume the video and watch my solution. Here's the situation. You are white, seated as usual at the bottom. It is your move. Your opponent has his queen, both his rooks, and his bishop trained toward your king, but you can play quickly and decisively and either checkmate your opponent or gain a commanding material advantage. How do you do it? Now is the time, if you wish, to pause the video, think it over, and then resume the video and watch my solution. Why do you begin by sacrificing your queen? Queen takes c8. Check. Black's only legal move is to capture your queen with his king. Now you have three possible checks. Don't do it with your d2 rook to c2 because his queen can capture your rook. Don't do it with your bishop to e6 because his king can move to c6 and eventually get to b6. You will not be able to checkmate him. Do it with your d1 rook, moving it to c1. Check. Then, if he moves his king to b8, you have checkmate with your d2 rook. Checkmate. If he interposes his rook, you capture it. Check. Then if he moves his king to b8, you have checkmate as before with your d2 rook. Checkmate. Check. If he interposes his queen on c6, you win his queen. Check. He gets your rook. And now you have that extra rook, which gives you an advantage, which should lead you to a win. Black's other option, after you check him on c1, is to interpose his bishop on c7. Then you play bishop to e6. Check. Black's only legal move is king to b8. Then you play rook to d8. Check. And his only legal move is bishop captures e8. And then you play rook to c8. Checkmate. And that's my chess challenge number 264. Thank you, Chen Ming, my fabulous chess teacher. And to all of you, thank you for watching.